Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I know it's been a minute since I've got to do a video. It seems like it's been forever since I've actually got to get into my craft room and work. I've had the grandbabies for the past five days and I am gonna tell y'all I'm exhausted. <laughs> I didn't realize how old I was till the grandbabies came to stay. <laughs> so anyways, I am working on some ring binder floral journals and um i wanted to use up some stuff in my craft room i have so much stuff in my craft room okay so much stuff it's ridiculous and so i thought you know what let's start using it i have so many of these um partial book pages and i mean it is just ridiculous and then i have Hang on and I'll show you. Um, little bits and pieces of napkins. So I thought we could use up some of those and use up some book pages and see what cute things we can make because I'm going to make pockets and tucks and things like that for the journals that I'm working on. So I thought maybe I could do like a little series um, of little pockets and tucks and tags and things like that to use up our book pages and all of our little goodies. So here's what I've done. I made this little um, pocket, cute little pocket, and it's actually a belly band pocket. So you can, you know, you can put it on your, here I'll show you, you can put it in your journal. Let me see if I can find a page. Now it's not going to match this journal because this journal is kind of more of a, um, a vintage style. And let's see if we can find a page. Okay, let's try this one. Nope. Well, let's just try this one. Okay. So, it can go on the page like that, and then you can tuck things in there, um, or you can put it on the edge of the page. Um, but I, the whole point that I was doing it for was to kind of make it like a belly band tuck or pocket. And so, you can tuck it on there. You've got things tucked down in the center, and then you can tuck things in there. So, let's make one of these today and use up some book pages and see where we get. Um, so the first thing I do, these are, um, you know, just leftover portions of books that, you know, didn't really have any pretty pictures in it or anything. And so I use these when I'm gluing on stuff, you know, I glue on these. Well, then when I'm done, uh, I'm going to take a page. And here's how you make the outside little pocket. I'll show you um, what's inside. So you have the little tag, and then you have this little tag, and then you have a large style tag that's kind of plain, but I like the plain ones because you can journal on there, you can use it for a picture mat, um, and then you can journal on the back side. Um, so, and then on the pocket, I just kind of, um, decorated it up with some of my napkin pieces and some stickers and this is a little Tim Holtz piece and just little things that um, uh, you know I want to use up in my craft room. I have lots and lots of stuff and so you know I need to get it used up so that I can make room for more stuff. I mean don't we all need more stuff? <laughs> so I thought I would show y'all how I made this and and then we'll make some other ones in other videos. But we're going to be um, maybe doing a series on um, using up book pages and things in our craft room. Okay, so with this one, the way you make the pocket, we're going to make the pocket today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this edge off because I don't need the edge. And I don't want a jagged edge. So I'm going to trim that off. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and fold it like this because we need it to be a square, okay, in order to make uh, this little pocket. And then we're just going to crease it like that, and you have this. And so this leftover piece down here, you can cut it, but I'm going to tear it. So you just tear that away, and then you have this. So then, we're just gonna fold over, just a little ways over that center crease. If you can, can you see that center crease? 
and I just fold over a little ways over that. Now you can measure if you want it perfect. I don't care if it's perfect. I don't particularly need it to be perfect. So I just kind of do it willy nilly and work with what I have. Okay. So there's your pocket. Okay. Your belly band pocket. So I think what I want to do is ink the edges. And let's see. Let's do this one in purple since I did that one in pink. We'll do the purple. And I need to switch out my little dauber here. This is Seedless Preserves from Tim Holtz. And I'm just going to ink around the edges. Now, if you wanted it to where this could be a removable pocket, you would want to ink um, the front and the back. But I'm not inking the back because it's going to be adhered down to the page. So I don't need the back to be inked. Okay, that one don't want to ink right. So we're just going to very quickly go around the edges. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just something quick and easy and fun to do. Okay, and then we're going to ink this one. Okay. Now, we're going to fold this over and we're just going to put a little dab of glue right there in the middle. Whoops. Let's not glue our pen in there. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. And we're going to try and put our pen in there without poking ourselves. Okay. So now it's that easy. We have a pocket. Now I have this little pink pen. Um, and I don't know if you can see the faux stitching that I have around the edges here. But we're going to do that. I'm just trying to let that dry a little bit. I probably need to. I always get excessive amounts of glue. It doesn't matter how small I try to use it. It always does that. Okay, so let's just make us some lines around the edges here. So that it looks like it's sewn. And I don't want it to be super neat or super easy because I like the messy look. So let's just go all the way around. These are quick and easy to make, and they're super fun. Let's go around this way. And you can use a marker if you want to. I just don't have one. Mine dried out. And um, I really don't have any of the, you know, the fancy pens or markers. This is just a cheap little dollar pen from the dollar store. And they can be different sizes, however you want them doesn't have to be perfect because if it does I'd be in trouble because nothing I do is perfect okay so we're gonna do this one I feel like I've lost touch with everybody since I've been babysitting um, my daughter had to make a trip so um, I just kind of feel like I've lost touch with everybody. I've missed y'all. So hopefully we can have fun together with this little series. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So now comes the fun stuff. Um, and that's the decorating part. So I have, I tend to have, um, a hard time sometimes when I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm trying to think, okay, you know, I want to decorate this with. And so I try to make it a little easier on myself by just grabbing a bunch of stuff and piling it in um, like this little cubby here. So I have this little, um, this was one of those like little office things that you put inside your desk, you know, the little separators or dividers or whatever. And so I just piled in a bunch of decorative stuff um, that I thought that I might could use. And um, that way it, I can use from this collection of stuff first and I don't feel overwhelmed trying to look at everything in my craft room because then I tend to get overwhelmed and I don't even, 
It's like I don't even know where to start. So, that's just a little tip to help y'all if y'all run into that problem. So, what we want to do is we want to put some little decorations on um, uh, our pocket here. And so, I have this napkin. And I like the colors of these flowers and um, the birdhouses. No, not birdhouses. They're bird nests. So, let's just use one of these bird nests. So, I'm just going to rip it out of the napkin because I like the torn look. I don't like, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the cut look. Um, so, I just always like to rip it out. And I know a lot of people say, oh, you're supposed to use the, um, the wet, you know, the water pan or whatever. I don't have time for that. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know where mine is right now, so. I guess to each his own, and you can do it whatever way works the best for you. So let's see, this might be a little too big. So let's trim him down. Okay, we'll save that little flower because we might want to use him somewhere else. Let's see. All right, so if we slide that down in there, I kind of don't want to slide him down in there. I kind of want to, I want the bird nest to show, but I also like the flowers. So let's see if we can separate these and arrange them in a way that they fit better. Okay, so a lot of times I don't play with my napkins because the Mod Podge can sometimes feel like it's a little messy, you know? And it feels like, oh my goodness, you know, I gotta get the Mod Podge out, Mod Podge it, then I gotta let it dry or or dry it with the dryer or whatever. So I cheat <laughs> and I use my glue stick. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm just gonna put some glue down on the top here. And then we're just going to tuck him in here, kind of like that. Let's tuck him over to the side so we might have enough room for a little bit of a flower. And then I'm just going to rub him down into the glue. And it does the same thing as Mod Podge. I like the texture that it gives you when you do it this way. And then let's see. See here, this little blue flower might come in handy. Okay, we need him to be smaller, so we're going to get him little. All right. So he might look cute there. Let's put him up there. Okay. Um... I kind of feel like I want something over here, but what do I want over here? Do I want a sticker? I have some stickers. Let's see if we can find a little butterfly sticker. Oops. No, I kind of want a small butterfly. Hmm. Or not. <laughs> I got some down here. I kind of like him. Let's use him. Okay, and these are just those washi stickers that I had in, in my shop. Sometimes these are a little hard to get off, but not too bad. Okay, excuse my reach. And let's just put him right here. Sometimes I like having a contrasting color on there. Okay. So, maybe down here we can add him. Let's tear this little extra piece off. Yeah, let's put him there. And I just use these cheap little Elmer's washable school glue glue sticks. So I don't use the you know expensive stuff i just go as cheap as i can go and it's always worked for me and i've not had a problem so far so 
I think I'm good to go. Okay, so now we have our napkin in there, and I need to add a little glue right up there. Whoops, throwing things. So that when we slide stuff in and out of the pocket, it doesn't tear up the napkin. All right, I need a baby wipe. I got one here somewhere. Here we go. It's always good to have a baby wipe handy because uh, it gets kind of sticky using the glue. Okay, so then we want something on the sides here. On this one, we used a napkin on the sides. Uh, but on this one, I think I want to use some stickers. And I have some of these i don't know if they're too big or not though let's check them out and see i got this roll of stickers at walmart for i can't even remember how much it was but okay now see that's too big so we're going to stick him back on there and figure out something else to use i have these little flowers here that would be pretty in the middle but i think i want one that's more colorful we might use that we'll see um okay but first we need to do the um the sides i got stuff falling in everywhere okay hmm Maybe I don't want to use that there because that's kind of big. It overwhelms it. I know. Let's use some stamps. Okay. I got things falling everywhere. I have these pretty floral stamps. I think these would be cool. So if we use one on each side and you have the pink and the purple, that'd be pretty. Let's try that. But I want to ink the edges of the stamps just to make them stand out a little bit. And I think just to add a little more decoration to these, I think I might stencil something on them. We'll see how that works. Okay. So, before we add our stamps, let's find us a cute stencil. And what better than flowers? Okay, let me move this book because it's not big enough to do what I need it to do. And... I have this that I can stencil on. Okay. So let's, and I don't want it real heavily stenciled, so we're just going to go over it real lightly, just to give it a little color. There we go. See there? You see that? Okay. Alright, and then... I have this piece of fabric here that I think I want to take all the way across. Let me see. This one's a little wider. And I don't want it to be perfect, you know, super perfect or anything. So let's just snip us a piece off. Put us a line of glue. This is just a uh, Fabri-Tac, the Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. I keep it upside down in a jar because it makes it a little easier for me. And then we're just going to lay our fabric down. And I want our fabric to be a little bit dimensional. I don't want it to be, you know, completely stuck down to the page. And then we can add our stamps. Okay, and I don't want them perfectly straight. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. And that just adds a little extra something to it. And then I want something in the middle to make it look like it's a closure. So let's maybe pull us a button over here. Oh, we have a cute little flower button. I don't know, that might be too much. What about a heart button? Ooh, we have a butterfly. Let's do the butterfly. That'll be cute. Okay, so we've got the butterfly button and I want something underneath it just to kind of make it pop. So I've got some of this um, eyelash trim. All right. So I'm just going to wind the eyelash trim up. And I'm going to use hot glue because it tends to do the best for me, in my opinion. That's just my humble opinion. To put that down. And then we can put our butterfly down. And I'm just going to go ahead and do hot glue on the butterfly too. And we can turn him a little sideways so he looks, you know, not so perfect. And there you have your pocket. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so simple and easy, super fun. Um, it uses up some book pages and some napkins for you. You can use up some stickers and some stamps and some buttons and all kinds of goodies. And then you just make your little treats that go inside. Um, so, you know, you just make you some little tags and stuff and tuck them down on the inside. But there is your pocket. There's one filled and completed. So I hope y'all enjoyed um, this little video. And um, I'm going to be doing some more. So uh, bear with me and we'll have some fun. And we're going to be adding some of these to our um, uh, ring binder journals um, as soon as I get them finished. So hope you guys like this uh, little video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Leave any comments or questions you have in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.